When we travel around the world, uh, we have just a certain amount of time. We can't wait for the best shot uh, without handling because there's no time for that. So we usually catch the snake very gently and then we remove it to another spot where we can film it and then we bring it back to the spot where we found it. If we walked three or four kilometers to find the snake, then we walk those three or four kilometers back to release the snake at the exact same spot. Uh, with some snakes, like small vipers, it is known that if you release them far away from their home range, they might not find shelter, food, uh, water, and they uh, might die. So uh, we really take the effort to travel back to the same location to bring the snake back where we uh, really found it. Sometimes um, we need to think about where to release the snake and we need to do a little bit of a trade-off because we, for example, can find a puff feather in Africa very close to a village uh, in the field. And it's absolutely sure that if we release the snake back to that spot, when someone will see it, people will try to catch it uh, and kill it and then sell it for, for meat or just kill it because of fear. So then we try to find any small place with dense bushes where the snake can hide. We try to find the closest place where the snake will be safe and it will not uh, encounter any humans.